Welcome friends to the session on history, scope and significance of genetics and genomics. Genomics is a mix of many sciences including genetics, molecular biology, biochemistry, statistics and computer sciences. The developmental sequence of genetics and genomics occurred in different periods. In the last few decades, the science of genetics has pervaded all aspects of biology so that it has assumed a central position of great significance in biology as a whole. While on the one hand, genetics is used for a study of the mechanism of heredity and variation, on the other hand, it has provided tools for the study of the fundamental biological processes examined and taught in areas like plant physiology, biochemistry, ecology, plant pathology, microbiology, etc. Genetics, in fact, provided the modern paradigm that is a prototype for whole of biology. The science of genetics also had a tremendous impact in applied areas including medicine, agriculture, forestry, fisheries, law and religion. In view of this, all newspapers often address questions dealing with different aspects of genetics that may be of significance to common man. The recent upsurge of biotechnology has added further to the significance of the science of genetics, so that the products of genetics have also become a subject of discussion for trade related aspects of intellectual properties under the aegis of general agreement on tariffs and trade that is got. Patenting of life forms which may or may not be the product of genetic manipulation is one such topic which is receiving considerable attention of both developed and developing countries. Genetics can be broadly classified in the following three areas for the convenience of a discussion on its scope and significance. One, transmission genetics involving study of transmission of genetic material from one generation to the other. Two, molecular and biochemical genetics involving study of the structure and function of genes and third, population and biometrical genetics involving study of the behavior and effects of genes in population, often using mathematical models. The above classification is arbitrary and the three areas are interrelated and even under other areas of biology. Significance of genetics also stems from the fact that the genetic material containing information for hereditary traits consists of nucleic acids only across the entire spectrum of life on the earth. Genomics is an interdisciplinary field of science focusing on genomes. A genome is a complete set of DNA within a single cell of an organism and as such, genomics is a branch of molecular biology concerned with the structure, function, evolution and mapping of genomes. Genomics aims at the collective characterization and quantification of genes which direct the production of proteins with the assistance of enzymes and messenger molecules. Proteins in turn make up body structures like organs and tissues as well as control chemical reactions and carry signals between cells. If a cell's DNA is mutated, an abnormal protein may be produced which can disrupt the body's usual processes and in some cases lead to diseases such as cancer. In contrast to genetics, which refers to the study of genes and their roles in inheritance, genomics is the study of genes their functions and related techniques such as applications of recombinant DNA, DNA sequencing methods and bioinformatics to sequence, assemble and analyze the function and structure of genomes. 
Advances in genomics have triggered a revolution in discovery based research to understand even the most complex biological systems such as the brain. The field includes efforts to determine the entire DNA sequence of organisms and fine scale genetic mapping. The field also includes studies of intragenomic phenomena such as heterosis, epistasis, pleiotropy and other interactions between loci and alleles within the genome. Research carried out into single genes does not generally fall into the definition of genomics unless the aim of this genetic pathway and functional information analysis is to elucidate its effect on, plays in and responds to the entire genome's network. The various important branches of genomics are the following. Functional genomics is a field of molecular biology that attempts to make use of the vast wealth of data produced by genomic projects such as genome sequencing projects to describe gene functions and interactions. Structural genomics, it seeks to describe the three dimensional structure of every protein encoded by a given genome. Epigenomics is the study of the complete set of epigenetic modifications on the genetic material of a cell known as the epigenome. Metagenomics is the study of metagenomes, genetic material recovered directly from environmental samples. Applications of genomics. Genomics has provided applications in many fields including medicine, biotechnology, anthropology and other social sciences. Genomic medicine. Next generation genomic technologies allow clinicians and biomedical researchers to drastically increase the amount of genomic data collected on large study population. When combined with the new informatics approaches that integrate many kinds of data with genomic data in disease research, this allows researchers to better understand the genetic basis of drug response and disease. Synthetic biology and bioengineering. The growth of genomic knowledge has enabled increasingly sophisticated applications of synthetic biology. Conservation genomics. Conservationists can use the information gathered by genomic sequencing in order to better evaluate genetic factors key to species conservation such as the genetic diversity of a population or whether an individual is heterozygous for a recessive inherited genetic disorder. Now let us come to the history part. First we will see about the period varying from mid to late 19th century. The developments regarding evolution, natural selection, particulate inheritance and nuclein has occurred. In the 1858 our understanding of the origin of species and how species variability arose was revolutionized by the research of Darwin and Wallace. They described how new species arose via evolution and how natural selection uses natural variation to evolve new forms. A few years later, Gregor Mendel, an Austrian monk, summarized his years of research on peace in his famous publication. In that paper, he described the unit of heredity as a particle that does not change. This was in contrast to the then prevailing blending theory of inheritance. Equally important, Mendel formalized the importance of developing pure lines by statistically analyzing the data. His approach of crossing individuals with variable phenotypes and following them in successive generations is still the only approach utilized to understand the genetic inheritance of a trait. Research in the 19th century was often performed in isolation, with the findings made by one was not known to others. While Mendel was concluding that inheritance was particulate in nature, Others were trying to figure out the physical nature of the particle. Haeckel correctly predicted that the hereditary material was located in the nucleus. Miescher showed the material in the nucleus was a nucleic acid. 
Others observed the behavior of chromosomes and suggested they had a role in heredity. Now, coming to the early 20th century, the Mendelian principles were extended and the chromosomal theory of inheritance got strengthened. Mendel's important findings went unnoticed. It was not until 1900 that others who had performed similar experiments as that of his arrived at the same conclusions. Their publications cited his work leading to a rediscovery of the Mendelian principles. Quickly following the rediscovery, other genetic principles such as linkage, lethal genes and a bit later maternal inheritance were described. In each case, the principles provided to be simple extensions of the Mendelian laws providing further evidence of their importance. At the beginning of the century, the work on chromosomes merged into the chromosomal theory of inheritance. This theory focused research on the chromosome as the location of genes. The field of cytogenetics was based on this discovery. The first observations of chromosomal abnormalities such as duplications, deletions, translocations, inversions were reported. Observations such as position effect demonstrate that there is a direct link between chromosome structure and phenotype. All of these discoveries justified research with the intention to discover the physical basis of heredity. Now coming to the mid 20th century, DNA was considered as the base of life. Also the importance of the Darwinian theory of evolution via natural selection was confirmed. As early as the 1870s, the material in the nucleus was determined to be a nucleic acid. From the 1920s through the mid 1950s, a series of experiments demonstrated that DNA was indeed the genetic material. The transformation experiments of Griffith demonstrated that a factor found in a lethal strain of bacteria could convert a non-lethal strain of the bacteria into a lethal strain. It was the careful experiments of Avery, McLeod and McCarthy that determined DNA not protein or RNA was the factor responsible for the conversion. This was further confirmed by Hershey and Chase although their experiments had flaws which prevented them from being definitive. Watson and Crick determined the structure of DNA and others suggested that DNA contained a genetic code. By the mid 1960s that code was deciphered. Experiments involving the process of transcription and translation led to the development of the central dogma of molecular biology concept by Crick. The experiments of the early 19th century that confirmed that Mendelian principles could be extended to many gene systems became a major component of what was to be called the modern synthesis that is neo-Darwinism. The experimental demonstration that mutations could be induced was also an important component of the concept that natural selection was a major factor in evolution. Mutations create variation, recombination develops new forms, the variation extends through the population and based on environmental constraints the variation is finally acted upon by the forces of natural selection to produce more fit individuals. Coming to the period of mid late 20th century and the early days of the 21st century is the age of molecular genetics, phylogenetic studies gains importance, the emergence of information technology and genomic science occurs. The discoveries of the mid to late 20th century defined processes that would provide the tools for molecular biology, recombinant DNA technology and finally the biotechnology industry. The elucidation of the process of DNA replication described the necessary components needed for the widely used chain termination DNA sequencing procedure. Understanding replication helped determine those tools necessary for the radio labeling of DNA. 
The development was necessary to support southern hybridizations and the early molecular mapping experiments. Understanding replication also defined the role of the ligase enzyme that is so critical for DNA cloning. Restriction enzymes were discovered and used to construct recombinant DNA molecules that contained foreign DNA that could be grown in abundance in bacterial cells. The discovery of reverse transcriptase also enabled cDNA cloning. Cloning is essential for the discovery of gene structure and function. It is also an essential step for all of the genome sequencing projects. The advent of protein and DNA sequencing launched a new era of phylogenetics. Species could now be compared at the molecular level. New procedures for the development of phylogenies are developed. The neutral theory of molecular evolution is proposed. This was a direct blow to the preeminence of selection as the driving force of evolution. The theory suggests that most mutations are neutral and are fixed by genetic drift and not selection. It is debated whether the evolution of species is driven more by neutral effects or selection. Some feel the two theories are compatible and exert their effects on different genes. The information age is essential to genomics. The electronic analysis, distribution and storage of genomic data is a hallmark of the science. Critical to this was the development of computers, both large and small, which put computing power in the hands of all scientists. The free distribution of analytical software provided scientists with the tools to study the details of their experiments. The Internet spawned the distribution of information from central databases. Email connected scientists and fostered the rapid exchange of ideas. The advent of the WWW provided a new medium for the presentation of information. Whole genome were sequenced for the first time. For other species, the gene content was described using ESTs. Microarray analysis provided the first glimpse of global expression patterns. Proteomics begins to describe the protein component of the genome in this period. Metabolomics was established. Massively parallel sequencing technology was introduced. This new technology greatly increases the amount of DNA sequence that can be collected in a short period. It will also dramatically decrease the cost of sequencing. Importantly, it launches the age of individual genome sequencing, which will support an era of individualized medicine. Now, let us see the historical progress of genetics and genomics in detail. In 1865, Gregor Mendel introduced the concept of particulate, that is gene inheritance, and also demonstrated the laws of segregation and independent assortment. He outlined the famous P experiments and published article entitled Experiments in Plant Hybridization. In 1866, Ernst Haeckel proposed the idea that the hereditary material resides in the nucleus. Friedrich Mescher, in the year 1871, coined the term nuclein for this hereditary material. And in 1874, he discovered that nuclein consists of nucleic acid and protein. First accurate counting of chromosomes was done by Walter Fleming in 1879. In 1892, Edward Strasburger and Edward Van Beneden observed cell division and they coined terms such as chromatin, mitosis, cytoplasm, nucleoplasm, prophase and metaphase. August Weismann in 1887 proposed universal theory of chromosome behavior which predicted that meiosis occurs in sex cells. 
In 1888, Heinrich Wilhelm Gottfried Waldeyer applied the term chromosome to the condensed version of material found within the nucleus. In 1899, William Bateson described hybridization between two individuals as a tool of the scientific analysis of heredity. Mendel's work was rediscovered by Carl Korens, Hugo de Vries, and Eric von Schamach independently in 1900. In 1900, Hugo de Vries coined the term mutation for the spontaneous appearance of new traits in evening primrose. In 1902, C. E. McClung proposed that specific chromosomes were responsible for sex determination in animals. Walter Sutton and Theodore Bowery in 1902 showed that chromosomes occur in pairs. One parent contributes each member of the pair and the pairs separate during meiosis. Sutton suggested that unit of heredity reside on chromosomes and it is known as the chromosomal theory of inheritance. Archibald Garrod in the year 1902 described the first human disease that exhibits Mendelian inheritance and it was alkapnonuria. The terms genetics, homozygote, heterozygote, epistasis, F1, F2 and allelomorph which was later shortened as allele were introduced by William Bateson in the year 1902. In 1903, Wilhelm Johansson explained the important concepts of phenotype, genotype, and selection. William Bateson and R. C. Punnett in the year 1905 performed experiments on sweet pea and demonstrated the concept of linkage. In the same year, lethal genes were discovered in the classic experiment involving a cross between two yellow mice. In 1907, Frederick Leibach suggested Arabidopsis as a model organism. G. H. Hardy and W. Weinberg formulated the Hardy-Weinberg principle of genetic equilibrium in 1908. G. H. Schul in 1909 produced commercial seed from self-fertilized corn and it was the direct application of the Mendelian theory. The terms gene, phenotype and genotype were introduced by Wilhelm Johansson in 1909. In the same year, H. Nilsson Ehele explained the role of multiple gene interactions in seed coat color of wheat and oat. This was the beginning of quantitative genetics. In 1910, Thomas Hunt Morgan demonstrated sex linkage in Drosophila and suggested that genes reside on chromosomes. Also, the year of fruit fly as a model organism begins. The first genetic map was developed by Alfred Strutman in 1913 in Drosophila. Calvin Bridges in 1914 observed non-disjunction in sex chromosomes which proves the chromosome theory of inheritance and also chromosome deficiencies, duplications and translocations were observed first time in Drosophila. In 1919, Thomas Hunt Morgan proved that the number of chromosomes equals the number of linkage groups. A. E. Boycott and C. Diver in 1923 explained maternal inheritance based on shell coiling direction in snail. In 1925, Alfred Strutman demonstrated position effect based on Drosophila bar eye effect. He observed inversion in Drosophila in the year 1926. J.B.S. Haldane in 1927 observed cord color in rodents and carnivores and proposed the concept of homologues. In 1928, L.J. Stadler demonstrated the relationship between the number of mutations and the X-ray dosage effect in corn. Transformation experiment in Pneumococci was done by F. Griffith in 1928. It leads to the discovery that DNA is the genetic material which transform information from one generation to the next. In 1931, Harriet 
Craig Turn and Barbara McClintock reported that crossing over between two homologous chromosomes involves the physical exchange of genetic material between the two chromosomes. R. A. Fisher and Theodore Dobosensky formulated modern synthesis. This couples the laws of Mendelian inheritance and knowledge of mutation with the Darwinian theory of evolution via natural selection. In 1941, George Beadil and E. L. Tatum proposed one gene, one enzyme hypothesis based on biochemical studies of Neurospora. K. Mather in 1941 coined the term polygenes. S. C. Luria and Max Delbruck in the year 1943 demonstrated that bacteria are capable of undergoing spontaneous mutations. This led to the onset of the field bacterial genetics. In 1944, Oswald T. Avery, Colin M. McLeod, and McLean McCarty extended the experiments of the Griffith in 1929 and showed that DNA is the genetic material. Bacterial genetic recombination was demonstrated by J. Lederberg and E. L. Tatum in 1946. It involves the movement of DNA from one bacterium to another. In 1948, Barbara McClintock proposed the concept of transposable elements. J. V. Neal in 1949 observed that sickle cell anemia was inherited as single recessive gene Mendelian trait. In 1953, James Watson and Francis Crick presented double strand structure of DNA held together by hydrogen bond. George Gamow in 1954 suggested that DNA contains a code which is responsible for the production of proteins. In 1955, Siviro Ochao discovered RNA polymerase which has an important role in the mechanism of transcription. LOD score method of determining linkage distance in humans was developed by Newton Morton in the year 1955. Coming to the year 1956, Arthur Korenberg purified DNA polymerase 1 from E. coli, which is a major component of DNA replication. F. Jacob and E. L. Woolman in the year 1956 showed that bacterial conjugation involves the physical exchange of DNA between two bacterial strains. In the year 1957, Francis Crick proposed the central dogma of molecular biology. In the next year, he predicted the role of tRNA in translation process. Coming to the year 1958, Matthew Mieselson and F. W. Starr proved semi-conservative mode of DNA replication using the technique density equilibrium centrifugation. F. Jacob and J. Monod in 1961, published genetic regulatory mechanisms in the synthesis of proteins, which explains the lack of prone controlling network in E. coli. In the same year, Marshall Nirenberg proposed the concept that each amino acid corresponds to a triplet code. The first identified amino acid, which was the phenylalanine, which is coded by triple A. Also, Sidney Brenner, Francois Jacob, and Matthew Mizelson described ribosomes as the site of protein synthesis. It was also proven that mRNA exists and binds to ribosome. In 1965, Margaret Dayhoff published Atlas of Protein Sequence and Structure. It contains the sequence of 65 proteins and was considered as the first publication in bioinformatics. Emile Sakrand and Linus Pauling introduced molecular clock concept. According to this theory, the rate of amino acid substitutions are linear over the time. Marshall Nirenberg and H. Gobin Korana in 1966 completed the genetic code that correlates the triplet code for each amino acids. In 1967, Vaclav Sabalski and W. Summers showed that only one DNA strand acts as template during the process transcription. W. M. Fitch and E. Margulaish developed the phylogenetic tree in the same year. It involves the comparison of the amino acid sequence of cytochrome C from 20 species that range from 
fungi to mammals. Werner Arbor and Hamilton Smith in 1970 isolated first restriction enzyme HIN2. David Baltimore and Howard Temin explained the importance of reverse transcriptase in the same year. In 1975, Irwin Southern introduced the technique Southern hybridization, which play main role in the gene mapping using RFLPs. Frederick Sanger and uh, Walter Gilbert in the year 1977 developed the chain termination and chemical methods of DNA sequencing. Philip Sharp and Rich Roberts showed that mammalian viral gene was interrupted by DNA sequences which are not found in the mature mRNA. Gilbert in 1978 named this sequence as introns and it was a common feature of eukaryotic genes. Sanger group in 1980 published the first complete genome sequence of bacteriophage X174. GenBank was established in 1982, which is the database of all DNA sequences. In 1983, Carrie Mullis explained the procedure to amplify large amounts of DNA using PCR technology. The procedure was later improved by the use of a DNA polymerase from the Thermus aquaticus bacteria. The first automated DNA sequencer was uh, released by Leroy Hood. Lloyd Smith, Michael Hungapiller, and Tim Hungapiller in 1986. This development was based on fluorescent labeling of nucleotides and the Sanger sequencing technique. In 1987, Eric Lander and group introduced MapMaker, a computer program for the development of genetic linkage maps from molecular marker. H.D. Higgins and P.M. Sharp published the Cluster Multiple Sequence Alignment Approach in 1988. The Sinorabidites Elegance Database was developed by Jean Ter Meek and Richard Durbin in 1989. It was the first database developed for genomic information. In 1990, U.S. government launched the 15-year Human Genome Program. The goal was to find all the genes on every chromosome in the body and to determine their biochemical nature. In 1990, Altshul and co-workers introduced BLAST, a computational approach for aligning two DNA sequences. The first EST, that is expressed sequence tagged sequence, was published by Craig Wender in 1991. Genthon, in the year 1993 to 1994, published the first high density linkage map of the human genome. The entire Haemophilus influenza genome sequence consisting of 1.8 mega base pair was analyzed by shotgun genome sequencing approach by Celera Corp and Craig Wender in 1995. In the same year, Pat Brown and Ron Davis described microarray system and in 1997, DRC and the group used this technology to study the regulatory pathways. The entire Saccharomyces cerevisiae, that is the yeast genome sequence consisting of 12.1 mega base pair was published in 1996 by Yeast Genome Consortium. E. coli genome project was launched in 1997 for sequencing its genome. Cluster analysis approaches were described by Eisen and group in 1998. The oligonucleotide microarray system was developed in the same year. Arabdopsis thaliana genome consisting of 125 mega base pair and Rosophila genome consisting of 123 mega base pair was sequenced in the year 2000 and Stephen Tansclay did the first cloning in the same period. Human genome project was considered as the turning point in molecular biology and human welfare. The huge data produced by International Human Genome Sequencing Consortium led to the invention of Ensemble Genome Browser in 2001. Mouse genome sequencing consisting of 2,500 mega base pair and rice genome sequencing consisting of 470 mega base pair were completed in the year 2002. Pufferfish genome consisting of 365 mega base pair, malaria parasite carrying mosquito genome, Plasmodium falciparum genome, 
and uh, SARS associated coronavirus genome sequencing completed in following years. Next generation sequencing was introduced by Solexa in the year 2004. Pyro sequencing technology was automated by Roche in next year. Applied Biosystems, a leading group in molecular data analysis, developed oligonucleotide ligation and detection in 2005. Pacific Biosciences released a single molecule DNA sequencer in 2010. 2011 onwards, sequencing of many organisms are in progress. Microbial world have an outbreak in the sequencing and the sequencing of almost 2,688 viruses were completed. 1,710 microbial genomic DNA sequencing were completed and almost 6,085 microbial genome is in screening. 208 fungal genomic DNA was sequenced and 205 fungal genomic DNA sequencing is in process. Kingdom plants and animals have complex genomes, so comparatively less number of organisms in these groups are completely sequenced. 182 members of animals and 47 members of plants got sequenced and sequencing is proceeding for 256 and uh, 107 members of animals and plants respectively. Now I will give you certain assignments based on the portion which we have covered. One. What are the various important branches of genomics? 2. What are the different applications of genomics? 3. Elaborate on the historical developments of genetics in the period mid to late 19th century. 4. Elaborate on the historical developments of genetics in the period of early 20th century. 5. Elaborate on the historical developments of genetics in the period of mid 20th century and 6. Elaborate on the historical developments of genetics and genomics in the period of mid late 20th century and the early days of the 21st century. I will give you certain references for your further reading on this particular topic. 1. An article entitled The Evolution of Genetics to Genomics published in Journal of Human Growth and Development and authored by Alan T. Branco in the year 2016, volume 26, number 1. 2. A History of Genetics, 3rd edition, authored by Strutman A.H. 2001, published by Cold Spring Laboratory Press, Cold Spring Harbor, New York. 3rd reference. The Gene and Intimate History, authored by Mukherjee S. in the year 2016, published by Penguin, UK. Fourth reference, a book entitled Genetics and the Unsettled Past, The Collision of DNA, Race and History, authored by Weilu K. Nelson A. Lee C in the year 2012, published by Rutgers University Press. A fifth reference is with the title, From Molecular Genetics to Genomics, The Mapping Cultures of 20th Century Genetics, authored by Goodlieri J. Rainberger H. in the year 2004, published by Routledge, New York. Sixth reference, Genetics and the Origin of Species, authored by Dobosensky T.G. in the year 1951, published by Columbia University Press. So we have come to the end of this session. We will meet in another session with a new topic. Until then, bye.